Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight a new AI tool from Google called Whisk. It's available for free via the company's Google Labs website, and I'll have this page linked in the video description below for those who want a quick way to find it. After you have logged in, you'll see a screen like this, and we're gonna tap on the yellow Let's Whisk button here. So the idea is to simplify generating images with AI using a three-step process. This involves choosing a subject, then picking a scene for that subject, and finally, picking a style for that image to be generated with. You can select all three of these manually, either by uploading your own images or using a text prompt to create that image with AI. Google even has a way for you to select a predefined style as well, which includes a sticker, an enamel pin, or a plushie. But again, you don't have to choose one of those you can upload an image that demonstrates the style you're after, or you can use the text prompt to create one manually. Let me demonstrate this in two different ways. So whenever you visit this website, you're likely gonna see a screen here, but we're gonna X out of that, and then we're gonna tap on the hamburger menu in the top left corner. This will allow us to use one of the predefined styles that Google offers. I'm going to select plushy in this example. And now I'm going to tap on the yellow plus button in the bottom left corner. And that brings us to that page that I just showed you. So I'm going to go ahead and select a subject. And that's going to be an image of our cat. After you add the image, Google will analyze it, detect what's in it, and then now you have your subject. You can choose to leave the scene blank if you want, but you could also upload an image or manually type in something that you'd like to see. Let's try a photo of the cat bed that we have in our bedroom. Again, just like before, after the image has been uploaded, Google Labs will analyze it to find out what's in it. With that done, we're gonna tap on the X right here, and that gives us our three options. We have our subject, our scene, and our style. If you want, you can add some additional details via the text prompt here, but let's keep things simple and just tap on that Go button. It will take some time before the final images are generated, but you should get at least two options to begin with. So you can see the cat bed does look different, but Google was able to understand that we had an image of a cat bed there. So there is our cat in the cat bed. If you feel like something is off a little bit, you can tap on one of these images to bring up an edit page where you can see the prompt. And from here, you can adjust anything that you'd like. Or you can long press on the image to get options like favoriting, downloading, deleting, or flagging. So let's try another example. I see people creating 3D animated versions of themselves and loved ones. We can try that with our cat here as well. We're going to keep the subject the same as before. We'll even keep the scene the same as before, except this time on the style, I have uploaded an image of a recent Pixar movie. So with those three in place, we're gonna tap on that X at the top and then go ahead and proceed with this generation. Again, it will take some time before these images are generated. So we're just gonna be patient and wait. 
and now you see we have two different versions of that selection. If it doesn't look very good, remember we can go in and change specific parts of that prompt and we can do that manually by changing the text or changing it by uploading a different image as well. There are a lot of fun things that you can try out with this new AI tool within Google Labs. Again, it's called Whisk, but I'll have this page linked down in the pinned comment so that it's easy for everyone to find. I would love to hear what you think about this down in the comment section below. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more content like this.